Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over weekly contest 227, uh, Q2, maximum score from removing stones. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, ask me questions about this one. I think this one is really tricky. Uh, it, let's see, it took me about four minutes to do this, but, uh, well, people are really fa much faster about it up on this one than I am. Um, and and I've, it's just a math problem, and for me, with these math problems, I'm actually is definitely one of my weaker points. I have to kind of prove to myself, like I even have pen and paper to kind of write it out. Um, but once you see the solution, it kind of you could kind of maybe reason against it. But um, but yeah, but there's really only two scenarios, right? One is where the biggest number. Um, so I, I wrote it this way. The biggest number is I don't even need total. So I didn't end up using it, but the biggest number is. Oh yeah, so th the first thing, let me go step back for a second. So the thing to notice is that n is less than 10 to the fifth. So I was I was like, okay, but that's still gonna be too big to do some kind of like, because my first intuition is, okay, maybe we do some breathless search or or heap search or something like that. So, you know, some sort of greedy with heap or something, right? But if n is equal to 10 to the fifth, that's gonna be too slow. So then I'm trying to find um, a, a sort of a greedy mathematical solution and here it is which is that if the biggest number is bigger than the other two combined then the, the logic here is that let's say you have a hundred or a thousand or okay a hundred you have like 20 and 20 or even 20 and four or something like that then you know that um that, that what that what does this mean right that means that for we can the strategy here is to take one from the biggest pile and then just take one from any other either one of the two piles and then keep on doing it because the biggest pile is bigger than the smaller two com piles combined so you so the number of operations that you can do here is it's just you go to the smaller number of the r2 or the sum of um you know uh, the sum of the two numbers because that's going to be your constraint because you ne you're never going to run out of the biggest number right uh and then in this case i actually have trouble to prove um which is that if you have some numbers that's just, you know, like they, they match up okay, then what happens, right? Then actually it turns out that you can just greet it. Um, you could use all, or, or you could basically use every, um, you could use every pile or the stones unless there's an odd number um, or like if there's an odd left over, then that's the, um, the, the answer. So basically that's pretty much it. And the proof is kind of, I don't know. I, I, for me, especially during the contest, to be honest, I just, um, I just ran a lot of cases, and I kind of guessed and yoloed a little bit during the contest to kind of hope this was right. Uh, and thankfully, it was. Um, but the proof is that you can kind of, um, I think you could do a proof by greedy and always taking the biggest num biggest two piles, and then kind of draw it down, and then kind of do the math that way. That's basically the way that I kind of proved to myself to submit. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah. Uh, let me know what you think. This is constant time, constant space. So, yeah. Um, cool. Uh, that's all I have. You could watch me solve it during the contest. Next. Mm, this is way mathy.
should come up. Hey, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. Um, let me know what you think about this problem and this solution, this explanation. Um, and yeah, do have a good day and, and a good weekend. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health, and I will see you next problem. Bye-bye.